So here we are in Tokyo Station. That behind me in beautiful Tokiwa Green is the Tohoku Shinkansen, the bullet train that heads up north. In this episode, we're going to be eating some of the, the most delicious ekiben, which are bentos used to eat on the trains. It's very regional and it's a lot of fun. It is a special train just for us to ride and show you the beauty of Tohoku. It's going to be an exciting event. I hope you enjoy it. Off we go. Tokyo Station is the city's main bullet train hub. There are many ways to enter, but we'll go through Yaisu Central entrance to the Shinkansen platform. There's our ride, the beautiful E5 Tohoku Shinkansen Hayabusa, bound for Shinaomori. Today, we're on a special train, just for us. We're riding on the JR East Pass Tohoku area. Five days of unlimited Tohoku Shinkansen and local train adventures. Hold up, we need our lunch, and I know just the place in the station. Ekibenya Matsuri is open from 5 a.m. and has bentos from all over Tohoku. There are dozens and dozens of different kinds of ekiben, which are bento box lunches sold at train stations for travel. It's a way to learn about a place, eat the local cuisine. There's something for everyone here. So where are we headed? Tohoku, the north part of Japan's Honshu Island. Tohoku is made up of six prefectures, Fukushima, Miyagi, Yamagata, Iwate, Akita, and Aomori. The Hayabusa Super Express makes stops at Omiya, Fukushima, Sendai, Morioka, and Shin Aomori. From these hubs, you can branch off in every directions with the pass. Our adventure today starts from here, Tokyo Station. The Tohoku Shinkansen's Hayabusa, Yamabiko, and Nasuno bullet trains depart a few times an hour from 6 a.m. to 10.44 p.m. Our trip to Shin Aomori will take about 3 hours and 30 minutes, reaching a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Welcome to the Shinkansen. This is the Tohoku Shinkansen heading north and over the course of this trip. We're gonna be trying one of these, but I can't eat all these alone. So, helping me out is this man. Hi. Peter Von Gaum, the voice of Only in Japan. He's got a magic voice and a magic touch. We start off with two colorful ekiben, a spring seasonal specialty, and a train lover's favorite. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> the train has left the station. The Hayabusa Bento features the E5 in Tokiwa Green. It's long and compact, the utensil included. Ingredients listed for those with allergies on the side. 1,300 yen. It should be eaten the same day. Spork. Makes every meal more fun, doesn't it? Kids and adults without chopstick skills will have no problem at all. Inside, a wiener sausage, karage Japanese deep fried chicken, mini hamburg, shumai dumpling, tomato rice, or is that ketchup? and a honey apple dessert from Aomori. My ekiben is from Hirosaki in Aomori, the cherry blossom mankai sakura sushi for 1,280 yen. Inside, pink ginger cut to look like cherry blossoms. The fallen ginger blossoms on top of regional seafood from Aomori, scallops, ikura, tuna, salmon, the color with egg and greens outstanding. All prepared the night before, trucked to Tokyo Station by dawn. The first of seven ekiben on this Tohoku train adventure. All aboard. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, look at that. That is kid friendly. I love this one because it, they have all of the cherry blossoms on top of it. It's right. probably some secrets under those cherry blossom petals. And I think we're gonna trade. Uh, yeah, I don't think so.
we were pulling into the first stop after Omiya, Fukushima Station. Sure you don't want to trade? No, I'm good. Nice. Some uh, flavored rice with ketchup. Kids love ketchup and rice. And this is a Hamburg, Hamburg. That spork is coming in very handy. You look very sophisticated, sir, with your spork. Yes. I only dine with the finest plastic sporks. Mm. Eki Ben come in all sorts of shapes. This one is long, like the Shinkansen, and this one is round. And I love how this looks like, uh, like it's made from wood, like uh, the hinoki. Right. Yeah. The attention to detail is always just exquisite in, in the bentos. Yeah. The pink is ginger. What is the pink? It's ginger, right? Shoga. Yeah. Yeah. It's ginger, meaning uh, it kind of cleanses the palate for right. the fish underneath it. Oh, look at this. So we got... We got like a treasure underneath here. There's some uh, ikura, some uh, shake, mm. salmon. Oh, wow. Yeah, hotate, scallops. Oh, dude, you're killing me. Wow. Wow. How did I end up with this bullet train bento for kids? After a few minutes, we pulled out of Fukushima Station. Next stop, Sendai. They took an ingredient, the, the red ginger, and, and made that into something beautiful. Right. And I really appreciated the details of it. And all the ingredients were super fresh. The ikura, the hotate, the scallops, uh, a little bit of vegetables there. Really good balance. Yeah. It's a fun bento. It's a sophisticated bento. I got the better of Peter this time, but he does get to keep the case. Between Fukushima and Sendai, the Hayabusa Super Express Shinkansen cruises fast through Ishinoseki Station without stopping. It's a thrill to see it zoom by. Tohoku Shinkansen crosses through some very scenic places, long views across rice paddies, mountains on the horizon. We're about 30 minutes away from Sendai. We'll have to eat quickly. Right, we're getting close to Sendai now, and that means gyutan, or beef tongue. One of my favorites. Really? Yeah, I love gyutan. Yeah. What makes these bento special are that they're self-heating, both of these. What? Yeah, right. So you're going to eat a hot lunch, a hot ekiben. Uh, I, I got to see that to believe it. This is the Atsugiri Gyutan, a famous ekiben from Sendai. It has a hidden secret. That yellow string pulls out activating the self-heating unit on the bottom. The ekiben starts heating up within seconds. After a few minutes, you've got yourself a hot lunch. Sendai's famous gyutan, or beef tongue, grilled with rice and spicy garnishes. That one's not the only game in town. This is a char-grilled gyutan bento, with yellow string as well. Pull the string and within seconds, the heat cooks the contents to perfection. Inside, seven generous cuts of beef tongue on rice, pickles, and a carrot to give it great color. And yes, it's also piping hot. Keep the bowl inside the box. Which one do you think is better? And just pull it like, yeah. a, like a party popper? Yeah. 
Alright, here we go. Go. Three, two, two one. Oh, jeez. Wow. Dude, it's really hot. Yeah, it's starting to heat up. That is incredible. You can feel the heat coming off of it. Oh, I got steam coming out yeah, of it. Yeah, me too. It's actually, like, hot to the touch. Holy moly, feel that. Oh, my God. Right? Is yours too? It's Mine there. feels hotter than yours. Yeah. Peter's is hotter, like a real grill. No false advertising here. Two minutes later, we can't wait anymore. Done. Wow. wow this is incredible i've never had something like this that heats up self-heating yeah it's hot to the touch uh, yours was dangerously hot exactly dangerously yeah. hot so you do want to be careful um in the bottom of it what is a, a, a chemical self-heating unit which will it takes about two or three minutes and then you have piping hot Look at the Beef steam top. rising from ooh, here. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Wow, this is amazing. Yours actually looks like a yakiniku grill. Voila. Look at that. Look at steaming, man. This bad boy meal is going to have to wait as we pulled into the capital of Tohoku, the biggest city, Sendai. We stopped here for several minutes, which is perfect to let our ekiben cool down a bit. As the passengers departed, we got ready to chow down. As we are in Sendai Station right now, um, this looks incredible. Uh, yours. It seems to have more volume of... Yeah, I think I won on this one. You might have, but both of them um, look incredible. Yeah. Let's give this a try here. The main difference seems to be that Peter's has a char-grilled taste. Mine is thicker and spicier. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Man. Really flavorful. Huh. Uh, what is different with the texture of this is it's it's a lot chewier than the meat right. and not as fatty. Right. Yeah. Oh, they do have some garnishes here. It's a little bit, a little bit of a special salt mm. came in it. That's What's most impressive for me, besides the fact that it heated up to this piping hot level, is it actually is very fresh tasting. Like yeah. It, like it just came off the grill at a Gutan restaurant. So we just left Sendai. It is now time to eat uh, this bento, which we have from Aomori Prefecture. We turn back to seafood ekiben, the uni gohan bento. That's sea urchin, a delicate seafood that's either loved or hated. The fresher it is, the better it tastes. Unique compact chopsticks. Uni on the bottom, gobo burdock root, egg, ikura, and wakame seaweed on the top. Not bad. On the other side, we have kobore ikura and toro salmon grilled bento for 1,280 yen. Inside, that ikura is laid perfectly on a gorgeous piece of salmon. I'm sure they put a lot of thought into the colors. The red box, a perfect compliment. I can't wait to sink my teeth into this one. Chopsticks this small. Wow, what does look it at deal that. deal with this? And it's in its own like little plastic carrying case. Let's see here. Interesting. All right. All right. Itadakimasu. Interesting. All right. Itadakimasu. Uni. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is it good? Yeah. That's really good. And it's 
it's not been seasoned with anything. It's you can, you can really taste the natural sea flavor. I can taste the ocean in it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I'm just stunned at the at the visual of this. The piece of salmon right in the center of the bento with what just spilled ikura on top of it. Yeah. On the left, you have some salmon and and egg and a little bit of, of, of vegetables here and some pickles. This is just an incredible visual. Yeah, have you seen that before? All right. Oh, look at that. That's pretty special. I envy you. Mm. How is it? Are those eggs exploding in your mouth right now? This is probably my favorite. This might be my favorite. So far? Yeah. I like the gyutong, I think, but I, I like, like this uni as well. A lot of people are put off by uni sea urchin just because of the, 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 the look of it, the color, and... But not you. Not me. <laughs> it, it had a very, very good balance of proportion, meaning it, it had just the right amount of ikura, just the right amount of salmon. Right. And I love the textures of it. Each one had a different feeling every time I took a bite of it. Right, right. Yeah, I, 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 I feel the same. Mine, mine is well balanced. I've got the ikura and some, some egg and some kobo, which is burdock root. But the, the main attraction, as it should be, is the uni. And uh, sea urchin is the best I've had in Japan. I've had it in other countries as well, but the Japanese sea urchin is very good and it tastes great in a bento. The final bento we'll be eating uh, in a completely different part of the train. In fact, it is first class, if not beyond first class. It's the grand class. I'm glad I'm dressed for the occasion. That's a tuxedo coat, Jake. As we pull into Morioka Station, the capital of Iwate Prefecture, we move to another part of the train for a bit of luxury. Morioka is where the green E5 Tohoku Shinkansen train separates from the E6 Akita Shinkansen, which heads towards the Sea of Japan. Today, we have a little welcome party on the platform for us. Welcome to Morioka Station. The new Tohoku Shinkansen shuffle should never be repeated unless you want a divorce. It did leave the ladies in tears, and I burned off a few calories. <laughs> did I make a laugh? <laughs> Do you see that? It's kind of a famous scene where, where the Akita Shinkansen is kissing the Tohoku Shinkansen. This one will start to take off towards the Sea of Japan from here. Uh, so we say goodbye, but a lot of people like to like to take pictures. You can see. I can I can show you here the link real quickly. Welcome to the highest of high class, the Grand Class, a leap above the green car. Wow, look at this. This is nice. It is very much like first class on an airplane. Red carpet, cream leather seats, gold trim, loads of amenities. Welcome to the Grand Class. This is a special car uh, that's in the front of the Tohoku Shinkansen, and we brought two bento to try in this. this these Ekiben are the gold standard of Ekiben. This is the first place winner of the Ekiben contest. Oh, it's wow. called the Fuko Bento. Yeah, so I thought we would eat it here, have a seat. Yeah. Nice, this is luxe, man. Ah, nice. Good look. Wow. I like the fact that you can see the ingredients on the label. Right. On the other side of it. Right. Yeah. All right, let's get into the opening. Yeah. I'd rather right. just look at the real thing. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, two one. Whoa. The Tohoku Fuko Bento takes the best of all six prefectures, all in one box. Inside, an explanation of the cuisine in Japanese. Chopstick taped to the top. six compartments and two for rice on the bottom. A bite of so many places in the celebrated Tohoku region. Meat, vegetables, rice, seafood, even a big sweet bean on a stick for dessert. Super healthy. 
It is a must try when traveling north. Go to Samarista. Go to Samarista. This was a really good bento. What did you think comparing uh, the ones that we had on this trip? Well, for variety, this was absolutely A number one. It had everything covered. Uh, my favorite is the Sendai Gyutan. That heating, that box that heats up, it's just incredible. The technology. It, I, I'm probably my favorite on this trip too, although I don't know. I'm really torn because that, that one with the ikura and the salmon uh, in the middle of it, just dumped ikura on there, was so good as well. Look, it's not fair to judge these bentos. They're all awesome. These seven ekiben are just a sampling of the choices you have in each major train station. Ekiben are usually reserved for express trains, not local ones, so you'll find them mostly at major stops. Which was your favorite? Which area or attraction of Tohoku do you like best? Leave your thoughts or your travel experience in the comments on this video. We're just about to arrive in Shin Aomori. Uh, this has been a pretty incredible trip. Yeah. We've eaten a lot of bentos. This is the end, but now we get to explore. It's just the beginning. I guess it would just be the beginning. This train actually will, will continue the Tohoku Shinkansen to Hokkaido, but for this pass, this is the limit. Mm -hmm. Shin Aomori Station is our final stop for the Hayabusa, the city center not far away, connected by local train, where more adventure awaits. Well, we've arrived at Shin Aomori. This is the destination, the, the final stop yeah. of the pass here. It's a little chilly. It is a little chillier up here. Again, this is about three and a half hours uh, from Tokyo. Uh, it's, it's been a fantastic trip up here. Uh, we, we ate our way the entire way, fantastic bentos. Yes, you can eat your way across Japan and you can start with an ekiben, or two, or three, or four. If you'd like more stories and adventures from Japan, hit that subscribe button and check out another episode and travel with me to the farthest corners of the country. Mata ne.